Hey everyone, thought I'd make a video about how to brew some hard cider. I wanted to start off with a couple of things that you're going to need. More than a couple. Not very many though. What you'll need first of all is you need to remember to keep it everything as sanitary as possible. You don't want to have any contaminants from your kitchen, your sink, your hands, clothes, or anything like that. Try and keep it as clean as you can. So to do that we're going to do a sanitizing solution here. There's several on the market. Uh, I use this five star star sand. I think it works really well and I think it does a good job of keeping everything clean for me and I've had no problems with it so far. Next you want to have a fermentation jug or you can use a one gallon, five gallon, six and a half gallon bucket. Uh, I have both. I have a glass carboy which is this one here. It's a one gallon. I also have plastic fermentation buckets, one gallon and a six and a half gallon. And I also have three gallon glass carboys. So this one right here is a one gallon. I don't know if it would be considered a carboy. Let me turn it upside down or right side up so that you can see it. Basically it's just a one gallon wine jug or juice jug that you'd find in the store. One of the juices I bought came in this jug and I ended up with another fermentation vessel from the juice. Um, this blue plastic piece here, you can put the bottle upside down once it's been sanitized. That helps it kind of drip dry so that you don't run the risk of it oops, run the risk of it tipping over onto the counter and falling, possibly breaking. So that makes it nice to hold the bottle upside down to dry. Next you're going to need a three-piece airlock system or they have different airlock systems that aren't three-piece. There's ones that are kind of built, molded all together. Uh, I tend to like these three-piece that you can take them apart and clean them real well. So the first piece here is where the solution you put in to keep the air out. You fill it up to this line right here. Um, I tend to use the star sand to fill up to that point to help keep any contaminants out of the, the juice that I'm making or the wine, whatever it may be. The other piece is this here. Let me set this down. This might be a little bit easier if I do this. Let me use my tripod. There. So this first piece here is actually what you put the solution in up to this line that you probably can't see on the video. Then you put this piece here and it traps the air inside this tube so that it doesn't get into the solution and then into the, the solution that you're fermenting, the juice or the wine or whatever it may be. The third piece is this top that goes on here. It keeps all contaminants out. Once it starts fermenting, this little bullet shaped piece kind of bubbles up or pops up and down on this air tube right here. This goes into here. I've heard this called many different things. I've heard it called a bung. I've heard it called a plug. All kinds of funny names. I just tend to call it a plug. That goes in there, which then, once you have your jug, you can put it here on the top, seal it up nice, good, and tight, and then you can start your fermentation. We'll get to that in a little bit. Get this jug out of the way here. 